Hello guys, it's Ryan Jones here, back again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be listing five players who are rumoured to become Aberdeen players in the next few hours, or they're just rumours really, rumours of potential signings Aberdeen will make. Obviously, they're not confirmed, they're just rumours, but heavily linked with the Dons. So without further ado, let's get straight into the first player. Starting with number one, and it is Croatian midfielder. Or attacking midfielder Antonio Teklic. He plays in the Croatian League. He plays for um, NK Varazdin. Um, and he's also played for the Croatian B team as well. Um, I did upload a YouTube short showing you one of his goals, one of his free kicks. This guy looks a very good player. And he's in a league alongside, um, you might know, as. Um, uh, Rijeka, which we played in the Europa League playoffs a few years ago. We got beat 4-0 on aggregate, so we're not going to talk about that. But he looks a very, very good player. This season, um, in, a, in the HNL League, which is apparently the main league, it's 33 games, 8 goals, 1 assist, 1 red card. It's not that bad, to be honest, for MK Varazdin. And yeah, his stats are mainly impressive, but... Yes, he might not be able to track back and all, we'll do all that stuff. But the way he attacks the ball, the way he gets up the pitch is very impressive. So I would really like to see this player at the Dons in the rear future. So Tonio Teklic, rumoured to be the rumoured to be an, a Dons player, heavily linked, probably the most linked player out of all of these. But without further ado, let's go on to the second player. Next player, and it is. Northampton left back or defender Ali Koiki. Now you might not know this guy. I'll put a picture on the screen anyway. He played for Northampton, Burnley, and Black. Uh, not Black. Yeah, Blackburn. Um, he's a very, he's a very skillful defender. Um, you might want to go on YouTube to watch a few clips of him. Apparently, he's really good. He's like a kind of like an Aaron Wambasaka. It's just he's not nicknamed the Spider, and he's played for Northampton. So. He, he's got he's kind of like a Hayden Coulson he's got a bit of skill on him as well and he's kind of like a wing back as well gets up the pitch and his game time for Northampton is really consistent um, helping them a lot this season and I've watched a few of his highlights been a very good player in that defence number 14 yes he has scored no goals this season but he's a defender let's give him a bit of credit um but overall, he's been very, very good for Northampton. Game time, perfect. 90 minutes in the last more than 90 minutes. Um, he gets re re really game time. And his stats are really, really good. Passes, um, fouls. No, not really fouls, but um, tackles. They're very, very decent. So I recommend going watching videos on YouTube. Him. He's really, really class. And... Might not be a strong rumour, but this that is a rumour that Ali Koiki is rumoured to be a, a future Dons player. Hopefully it does happen. Again, it's not likely because he is from England and he's got family and that. So the second player rumoured to become an Aberdeen player is Ali Koiki, the, the Northampton defender. Now the third player is a player which Aberdeen have been linked with for quite a while now. We will link with this guy in the last transfer window. And I will link with him again. It's the 23-year-old Dutch defender. Plays in the Eredivisie for Go Ahead Eagles. It's not a, none other than Jay Idzez. Now we've been linked with this guy a bunch of times. Um, and apparently the Dons want to get a deal in. He's worth around, I would say, 600, 600k. But obviously the price run for making Europe is... Uh, obviously we'll get a few money on that. Um, but he looks a very good player. His stats for Go Ahead Eagles are very, very impressive as well. Um, again, only bagged in one goal this season, but he's a defender. What do you expect? Um, but he's played really, really well this season. And apparently, he's been really, really good. Apparently, Go Ahead Eagles fans love him. Apparently, he's a midfielder, but I heard he plays centre-back. Um, he's been really good for uh, Go Ahead Eagles this season. I've watched a few of his highlights on YouTube again, you should go check it out, it's absolutely top class. 
and he looks to be kind of like a Lissandro Martinez. He's very strong, very um, energetic. He's a he's a leader. I wouldn't surprise seeing him as a captain next season if we do get him um, in the door. Better than Anthony Stewart, obviously everyone is, um, and he's a very solid player. His strength is nothing to worry about. Um, if a player's trying to get past him, for example, Morelos, actually hit these left. Maybe Sakala next season. He could just body him out of the way. And um, yeah, and honestly, it'll be a tough deal to get done. Obviously, he's a very, very attractive player. Um, we were linked with uh, another um, defender from Go Ahead Eagles a few summers ago. Uh, Jay Amofa, whatever his name is, he's another Go Ahead. He, he uh, Amofa, and it says, very good for Go Ahead Eagles this season. So the third player linked with Aberdeen is a very well-known one in the Dawn's eyes, and it is Go Ahead Eagles Dutch defender Jay it says. Second to last player, and it is a striker, which I showed you his highlights yesterday. He looks an absolute baller. Um, oh, sorry about bit of a runny nose there. Um, he is Slovenian striker. He plays currently plays. Sorry if I pronounce this wrong. Ed K. Radology. Radology. Um, currently a striker, apparently. 24 years old, so he's in his peak. Esther So Clear. Now, I've really liked his highlights. He's played for the Slovenian national team before. And apparently, this transfer is very, very near. Um, and honestly, I've watched this guy. He looks absolute baller. Yes. He's only got 10 goals, 30 matches, which, again, is really, really good stats. Uh, he's not just played for... Uh, he's not just played for Radolaj. He's played for Selji, Brzeice. Uh, apparently, these are Slovenian teams, Slovakian teams, whatever it is. Uh, but I really, really like them. Again, watch my video I posted uh, last night. Off this guy's highlights, he's absolutely really, really good player. And he looks a good talent in the future. So Esther Soclair, we don't know much about him, we don't know much facts. All we know is that he's a very, very good player in finishing and striking the ball. So, second to last player, and it is Slovenian under-21 striker, Esther Soclair. And last but not least, it is Liverpool youngster striker. By the way, these are reports from today. These are rumours today, came out today, that uh, Liverpool youngster striker... That's what you want to call him, Harvey Blair, who were in an actual battle with Portsmouth to sign this guy. Apparently, he's really good. We want to sign him on a loan, obviously, a bit of a Leighton Clark, so we want to sign him on a loan. If he's good enough, sign him on a permanent. Um, he's 19, so he's not really young, but. Uh, and he has made one appearance for Jurgen Klopp uh, for Liverpool, um, and that was in the Carabao Cup against Preston. Uh, a few months back, he was apparently impressed very, very much. Um, twenty, actually, twenty twenty one, not a few months back. What am I talking about? I don't know much about him. Haven't seen much about him. I just got the rumors right now, literally, like today, an hour ago, whatever. Apparently, he's a very good player. That's what I've, people have been saying on Twitter and online and social media. Um, but the last player um that is rumored to become an Aberdeen player is Harvey Blair, the Liverpool loanee. So I do enjoy this video, like, subscribe, again, go onto YouTube and watch these guys, apparently they're really, really good stars, and again, since we're going, we're wanting players from abroad, because we're already here this season, but I do enjoy this video, like, subscribe, hit the notification, we'll stop for every single time I upload a video, next time, peace guys.